exponential equations as logarithmic equations. To do this, we need to understand this logarithmic equation in red and this exponential equation in red mean the same thing. Log base b of n equals a means b raised to the power of a is equal to n. So in either form, we need to be able to identify the base, which would be b, the exponent, which would be a, and the number, which would be n. I think it's helpful to remember a logarithm is an exponent. That's why this logarithm is equal to a, which in exponential form would be this exponent here. So we know each of our logarithmic equations will have a log in it. So we'll go ahead and write down log. And then from here, four would be the base, so that's gonna be in this lower position here. A logarithm is an exponent, and is means equals. Since two is the exponent, this log is gonna equal two. And then the number, or what it's equal to, would be 16, which goes here. So four to the second equals 16 is equivalent to log base four of 16 equals two. Now there is one more thing I should mention here. Sometimes you'll see this written as two equals log base four of 16, which of course is the same equation. It's just the left and right side have been switched. For two to the fifth equals 32, we need a logarithm. We know the base is gonna be two. A logarithm is an exponent. The exponent is five, so the log equals five. And then 32 is the number, which would go here. So we have log base two of 32 equals five. For the next two examples, again, we need a logarithm. The base, in this case, would be 27. A log is an exponent. Our exponent is one-third and it's equal to three, which would be our number. So we have log base 27 of three equals one-third. And then for our last example, the base is seven. A logarithm is an exponent. The exponent is negative two, so the log equals negative two. And it's equal to one forty-ninth, so we have one over forty-nine as our number. So it does take some practice to get used to converting between log form and exponential form and vice versa. So I would recommend having these two equations here in your notes. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.